Welcome back, everyone. If you have textured hair, the thought of getting sweaty in the gym or in the summer sun can be a little off-putting, but it is possible to work out and maintain your mane. In fact, we encourage it. I encourage it. Allison Hill encourages it. So I'm so happy you're here with us to show us how we can get this done. Allison is going to answer some viewer questions, uh, but before you even start, let's talk about the curly girls, the 4C girls, um, the coily girls, and what we need to think about when it comes to exercising and soaking in the sun over the summer months. Okay, the first and most important thing is don't let your curly hair stop you. Mm -hmm. Your wellness is a part of your mental health. It's a part of your mental well-being. So let's find ways of minimizing what's going to happen when you sweat. I love that. And she's living proof. As am I. I mean, I do wigs, but you have your natural hair popping and she's running every weekend and in the gym and doing her thing. So this is what we want for you. Let's get into the first question. This question is from Juliet. Hey, Ali. Juliet here. So quick question for you. My hair is natural and I run outside in the sun and I love to protect my skin from the sun by using a ton of SPF. But what about my hair? I feel like it's getting fried every time I run. Please help me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love the question. What, do we, what should we be doing? Okay, so we already understand what SPF does for our skin. Yes. But what about our hair? Mm -hmm. Our hair is out, blowing in the wind, getting fried by the sun. Yeah. So what I have is some options around leave-in conditioners, right? Okay. Before you head out, put a cream-based leave-in conditioner in your hair. Mm. The one I really like here is by Bumble and Bumble. This one? Right there at the front. It yeah. has UV protection in it, the same way that we have SPF for our skin. Love that. Another obvious one is wear a hat. Yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just tell you what's special about this hat. It is silky on the inside. Thank and you. that's what we're like. Why is that important, Allison? That's important because when cotton rubs against our natural curls, it roughs up the cuticle, yeah. which makes it harder for our hair to maintain moisture. So something like that is going to help our hair to feel soft and safe under the cap and protect us from the sun. Now, you also have these. Why should we yes. think about headbands? Well, I love a headband. I yeah. love a headband. But when your scalp is sweating, right, yeah. your edges tend to, like, flare up. Yes. So it's kind of like a fake head tie a little bit. Yes. It holds your strands in place while you're sweating. Yeah. And I suggest you actually keep it on after you work out until your hair resets again or to put your head tie on right after. Oh, I love that. I do do that in the summer, do the headbands. Very good answer there. But do get outside. So awesome. this viewer uh, question is from a friend of the show, Demisha Dennis of Brown Girl Outdoor World. Hey, Ali. Wondering how I get my hair to stay looking like this and my curls popping like this if I decide to go to the pool or maybe say even the sauna. Oh yeah. Okay, this is a very good question because like we discussed before, once moisture hits your hair, it's changing. Mm -hmm. The other day I went to the sauna. Okay. And uh, the gentleman who was leading the class instructed us to wet our hair down before we went into the class. Uh -oh. Right. So now <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this uh -oh. doesn't seem very culturally sensitive. <laughs> but had I known beforehand, I would have prepared, right? Right. And maximized that time. So what I suggest is that you apply a treatment to your hair if you know you're going into these situations, right? Right. Head in with your shower cap, yes. fill your hair with a treatment like Olaplex. Which one is that one? Right? This? That's one that one right there. Okay. This one is a bond multiplier. So it's going to help keep those protein bonds in check. Okay. We also right beside it have a treatment by Barogio mm -hmm. and it's also a moisture and protein treatment. So maximize the time that you're in there because you're already in there. Right. The second thing that's really important to understand is that our hair is like sponges, right? Mm. So if it's already full of water, it can't continue to absorb water. Right. So you think about all that chlorine and all that stuff that's floating around the pool. If your hair is filled with a conditioner yeah. or water beforehand, it's less likely to absorb the chlorine. Got it. So you got to protect mm -hmm. it before you even get in there. Do you ever do bathing caps? Bathing caps are amazing. Yeah. Now, you might not be able to fit your whole fro under there, yeah. but there are some really cool black-owned brands that have bathing caps that have, like, a wider back. Absolutely. Really good tips there. I love that. Mm -hmm. Your next question is from Nicole. Let's hear what she has to say. Hey, Allie. It's Nicole. Considering that I have to wash my hair frequently after working out, what protective styles can I do that I can get the most out of? 
Okay, let's talk protective styles. All right, good question, Nicole. So if you're like me, you're wearing uh, Sealy twists most of the week. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say you don't have a job where you could show up like that, right? right? So there's three protective styles that I really like. Uh -huh. The first are good old braids. If you mm. can find a hairstylist that will get you into braids, it's a good option so that you can rinse your scalp out after you work out. Yes. The second, if you don't want to add extension, is two strand twists. Yes. Right? You can do them small, medium, mm -hmm. or larger. And then after you've worked out and you've rinsed it out, then you can reposition them and restyle them. Right. And you're and you're washing them out in the twist still? Yes. Keep okay. them in the twist. Okay. Right? That way there's less manipulation going on with your hair. Beautiful. And the favorite yep. of many. Speak on it. Okay, I wasn't gonna call you out, but Speak go on ahead. It. It's the unit, it's the wig, right? Some girls like to sew it directly to their heads, but I like the idea of being able to remove it. <laughs> Especially if it's fastened so you can shake it like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> but the good thing is that you can hide that wig in the locker at the gym. Yep. You can pop your head, head tie on, there it is. You can pop on a headband or yep. a hat get your workout in, yeah. and then when you're done, you just slide that joint right back on. That's right, and mm -hmm. for me, I'm never gonna let anything get in, in the way of working out. You can't. It's too important. It's too important. It's too important. It's I like agree. brushing my teeth every day. Exactly. So whatever it takes, if it's a twist, if it's a braid, if it's a unit, I am in it because yes. I'm doing it for my mental health, so thank you so much. No problem. It's fantastic tips. Uh, remember, if you ever have a question for any of our experts, send it to us. We will answer it here. That's submissions at cityline.tv.